Hi guys, Detective Jim. Hi Detective Paul, we're out again for you. You right, boys and girls? Detective Jim. Detective Paul. Special guest, Dave. <laughs> the detectives are here. Uh, yeah, we're on one of their, their lands. Yep. Uh, the invite us uh, out uh, again. Uh, it's it's <laughs> a, a disclosed place. Our land now. Yeah. Yours as well. Yep. With thanks to the detectives, the detectives. everybody uh, knows them now anyway because they're really doing very well. Yep. If you're not subscribed to him, go ahead, go and subscribe to him. You need to subscribe to these lads. Dave oh, is the David Attenborough of YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Tom's his oppo. <laughs> uh, the machines we're using today are the AT Pro. What's yours, Equinox, Dave? Equinox 800. Equinox 800. Uh, the AT Max. And Tom, what's yours? It's the XP Deus. XP Deus. 13 inch. 13 inch coil. Paul's got his uh, nail coil on. Dave's got a, a big half. 15 inch on, <laughs> and I'm here with the standard. <laughs> so, <laughs> from Detector in Detector Jim and Detector Paul, be safe out there. We know we're a foursome today, but you can't beat the fresh air to kill anything. Off. Six foot. Six foot. Yeah. Six foot. We've got a long stick. Yeah. So anyway, guys, as from all of us, on to the next. Bye for now. Right, guys, first target. I've already dug it and put it back because it's modern. But, any ideas anybody? It's a something, could be anything. If anybody knows, post below. On to the next. Hello boys and girls, uh, got this target here. It's pretty deep. Uh, I've got, what's, eight inches down. And there we go. It's, well, I love it, that's a bit of horse brass. Got a nice patina on that. Yeah, not bad for your first hole. Alright, catch you on next. Well, guys, what's rounded in the ground? You can't hear it, but there it is. It's a coin. It's definitely a coin. Give it a rub on the magic pants. It's a toaster. Definitely a toaster. See if I can get anything off back end. You never know. I've got the dropsies, guys. There they are. There it is. Yeah, I've got the drops. See me? Well, we'll try that again. Toaster. On to the next. Coin in the pot. Alright, boys and girls. Dave's there. Paul's there. And Tom's up there somewhere. I've got a target. Uh, it's in here somewhere. There we go. That's a button, guys. Let us see. Yeah, that's definitely a button. It's got a design on it. Oops. There we go. Pretty cool. Chunk should be on the back. Oh, yeah, it's got a design on it. So you can see that, guys. Cool. Right, catch you on the next. Well, guys, the next signal. It's a tube. Tube. I don't think it's a moo tube, but it's definitely a tube or something. <sighs> on to the next. Right, boys and girls. 
Dave's got a target. What number is she getting, Dave? I'm getting 18 on the Equinox, mate. It is only shallow. Just started digging it now. But yeah, it's quite small. See what he gets, guys. Yeah, it's been a uh, been a bit quiet on here today, but might even be on the surface here. What, what should be jump now? <laughs> Had a couple of YouTube's for. It's a, it's a greeny, no detail on it. But yeah. Well, there you go. Point. Well done, mate. Good. Well, guys, it was under a root. It was in the bottom, but we found it. A little button. On to the next. Jim and Dave's over there flying the drone, so we should have some good footage there. See you guys, button in the park, on to the next. Well, guys, button number two. It came right out from down there, and it's just the button. And it's still even got the shank. Oh, I've got the drops in there, guys. And gals. On to the next. Guess what, folks? Damn, blast it. On to the next. <sighs> well, guys, it took me a while. It was right down there. And it's a buckle, an iron buckle. Look at the state of that. But I'm finding stuff. Uh, you've got to dig all these signals. So yeah, buckle. On to the next. Hi right, boys and girls, got another target. I dug it out and there you go. It's a little button, still got the shank on the back. Very, very fragile. Uh, I don't think I can get anything off it. But yeah, still the button. Alright, catch on the next. So target, uh I dug it out. But it's just a ring. But we'll tell you what guys, look at the view we got. There's all there. Very interesting mound. Yeah, look at that. The view we've got around here is absolutely amazing. Yep, all it is is a ring. Alright, catch on next. Well, guys, I'm on this embankment, as you can see. Jim's just over there on the embankment. And I've just come across this little beauty. It's definitely a coin. Looking a bit toasted. Give it a whap. And just give it a clean. Toasted. On to the next coin in the park. Boys and girls, dug my target, Dave's coming over. Uh, we have a coin. And, oh. I wonder, is that silver? Yes! Look at that! Well done mate! Silver six, uh, yeah, it's silver six pence, isn't it? Oh, chilling. You want to clean it off on me, Dave, if you don't yeah. mind? Well, there's mine, and the winner is... Z56549! <laughs> <laughs> Bingo! <laughs> Let's get the... By the way, very well recommended. Spit and polish.
19, 39. Yeah, sixpence, mate. Sixpence, there you go. Uh, I'm not sure, is that 50% over? I think it is, yeah. yeah. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, there you go, guys. Look at that. Cracker. <laughs> well done, mate. Thank you. Well done. <laughs> Cheers, mate. So, guys, like I said, the view around here is absolutely amazing. Look at the backdrop. Uh, yeah, just turn around. Well, a lot of stuff at some kind of like dry, uh, some type of uh, level. Then you just go down. Well, to be honest, Dave, I reckon everything's going washed down there into that gully. Yeah, well, the farmer was saying just down there, that yep. flat patch there, that's an old track, like walkway. All oh, right, cool. So it was an old farm track. So, uh, yeah, it might be worth, worth might checking Might be going out. down there and having a go. Yeah, first, look at that, guys. Silver. First on the silver. <laughs> yeah. Right, catch on this one, guys. Well, guys and girls, it's, uh, guess what it is, Tam? Can anybody tell me what this is? Copper. Old. Anyway, I'm just going to scan the cup while you're on. Nothing there. I'm going to pause, yeah? Yep. Well, guys, Dave's found an unusual one. A bit of a medallion. You can see the, some sort of bird there. Yeah, we can definitely see the three there. circles on it. Can you just turn it over for us, Dave? It's in Welsh, whatever it is. If anybody can speak Welsh, can they have a look at this for us? Anyway, cool farm, Dave. Thank you. On to the next. Yeah. Hi guys, got another target. Just dug it out. And there it is. Uh, no idea. It's something, but I don't know what it is. Uh, yeah, just got not got a clue. Right, catch on next. Well, guys, just after dinner. <sighs> it's so beautiful there. Can you guess what it is yet? Monster signal. <laughs> Answers on a postcard. On to the next. Well, guys and dolls, this is the last one. I don't know whether it's a dog tag. somebody's number on it or it's a cow tag so yeah nothing on back I think it's uh, D22602L or something like that if anybody knows let me know on to the next right guys got no target and before we get there Look at the view we have got. Just look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. The mountains over here. We're going in these fields in a bit. And right, it's just over there. Is the uh, where the detectable is. Well, where it meant to be. Alright guys, right here we go, here's the target. It's got a nice patina. Uh, I think that might be a bronze pot or something. It's pretty heavy. Hi. No, I've got a clue to be honest. It's quite deep. 
good six inches down, six, seven inches down. Yeah. Oh well, catch on next one. Guys and gals, if someone can get the thinking caps on, I've got this. Now, I'm assuming it's a coin, but it's very fat. Very fat. You can't really see it. But I think there's something definitely on the back and the front. If anybody knows, guys, and I'm thinking it's Roman, but I haven't seen enough Romans for it to say it is. It's just it's thick, like uh, a very, very thin cap cat's eye. It's con convexed either side. And you can feel it's not rust. So anyway guys, any ideas? Post below. On to the next. Well my lovelies, I definitely didn't think they made these in the Civil War. Hey, that's two pounds it's cost me less at the tackle shop. Big bomb. On to the next. Well boys and girls, I've got a target. Dave's there, he just had a button. <laughs> and I'm here and I've got a button too. Shank's still there in the back, pretty cool. Shame it's a blankie. Oh yep, I've got a button. Dave's got a button. And Tom's around somewhere. Oh, and Paul's over there, I think. Tom's around somewhere, but the countryside, wow. Tom's a bit of a time traveller. Uh, yeah. Time you look, he's gone. <laughs> yeah, he certainly is. Right, guys, catch on next one. Well, guys, the man himself, the mystery, silver in the hole, mystery over. And I think, I'm definitely sure it's a vicar. Look at all that. You know what this means, Dave? Have what? you got it? Hmm? Have you got it? The what? The spit and polish oh, moment. Man. Look at that. Beautiful. Well, guys, it's <laughs> spit and polish. It's a registered trademark. But anyway, Dave's with us. Detect it and uh, has a silver moment. Look at that. They keep awesome. Going. I'm going to have to pass somebody with eyes here. If somebody can see that, James. That's the second piece of silver to come off this uh, field. Thank you, Dave. You're welcome. I you can't really can tell, me. mate. It's very, very faint. Maybe get under my scope and have a look through that pole. I think it's a sixpence. I can't see the date though, mate. Sorry. We got about that, guys. Cracking bit of silver. It is a sixpence, yeah. It says sixpence. Can you make out a date? The 18th, wasn't it? No, I can't see a date, I'm afraid. No worries. But I'll tell you what, mate. Silver, silver, and I'll be made up with that. Uh. So, well done. Cheers, my friend. Two silvers. For Detem Detective Jim and Paul. Did it, did it, did it, Just did gotta it. wait for uh, Dave and Tom to get silver now. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, we'll catch you on the next hole. Well, guys, this is someone I've not found before. A plate to a lock. How cool is that? It's not gold and it's not treasure, but it's mine. On to the next. You do yours first. Well, guys, Big Jim McClaskey does it again. Look at this, guys. Just put the old solid 60. There we go. Hammered! Help me, I'm shaking. Dave, you top guy.
There we go, look at that. It's a spit ah. and polish moment. Look at that. Oh. Awesome. Mate, the detail on that. Wow. Unbelievable. You're here at this moment, guys, with us. And I mean, it's an outstanding moment. We've got Dave the Tactics, Tom's just about somewhere, just wait till he sees it's gone freak. Beautiful Dave. Look at that. Unbelievable. I'm telling you Dave, you're finding some hammers these days. Guys, can I just stop you in your tracks for a minute? Yeah. Uh, you won't be coming again. <laughs> oh. You know there's oh, one yeah. word guys for Dave? Booby prize. <laughs> you know what that is? That, that, that is a cracker that is, well Come on James, you know what it is? It's the silver dance. Silver Hammer! Oh, buzzing, absolutely made up. Find of the day that. Yeah, Congratulations is. Dave. Jim, Jim. Jim, Dave, whatever. <laughs> McClasker. He never gets me name right. There you go, guys. Awesome, lovely mate. hammered. Look at that. I'm in with that. On to the next. Right, catch on the next one, guys. Next, Dave. On to the next. Well, guys, from inside the hole. Button. It's a bit scratched. It's kind of cracking shank on it. Dandy button, I think. On to the next. Right, boys and girls, no target, and it's the most tiniest button I've ever seen. Yeah, look at the size of that. Tiny, tiny button. Uh, I don't think there's anything on it. Shank should be there on the back. Oh, dropped it. Yeah, just tiny button, guys. Right, catch on the next one. Well boys and girls, we're in another field, it's a beautiful day, absolutely glorious, and it's a button, shank snap, I think they call them a comeback, button in the park, on to the next. Right boys and girls, just dug this target. Uh, we're going in a 60 on the Garrett AT Pro, there's Paul. Dave's over there, we're on a different field. And there you go. It's definitely a button. Unfortunately it's in two hours. Oh, it's very fragile, look at that. Yeah, it's very fragile. But yeah, down here button. Uh, get this way. There's where the shank should be. And that's got a picture of something on it. Take the ball off. Try to take it off slower. Show a horse or something. Yeah, picture of a horse. Is it? Oh, it could be a sheep. There you go, that's the back end of it. That's the front. But yeah, down the ear button. But it's very fragile. Right, guys, catch on the next one. Well, guys, got a target. Dug it out, and it's big, rusty buckle. Yep, it's a rusty buckle. Right, catch on next. Well then, guys, since the last one, I've had a few little bits of tat, but me thinks me has got a coin.
Let me give it a clean up. Well, guys, you can just see it, son. I'm sure it's a William. Be it 1700, and you can just make out Britannia factory. Oh. I've definitely got the roxes, but yeah, you can definitely make him out there. On to the next. Right, boys and girls, I'm down about three, four inches. And there we go, I've got it out. And um, it's just a shit penny, I think it is. A bit on the toasty side. You can just make him out in the sun. There you go. Good old Edward. Uh, don't think I can get a date on it. But well, I'll give it a clean later and if we get a date I'll show you. Dave's there, Tom's there and Paul's there. So yep, just standing in ten minutes in this one, then we're all getting off. Right guys, catch you on the next one. Alright boys and girls, that's it from uh Detective Jim Paul. Uh we had quite a lot of uh, finds. Uh, a lot of buttons. A hell of a lot of buttons. A few coins. Uh, Tom and Dave, the detectives, they did quite well. Well, Tom did anyway. Tom did. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, J Jordan would have been uh, proud of me today. Yeah. Mr. Buttons. Mr. That's buttons. What I found. Yeah, it's, it's terrible <laughs> buttons. But yeah, right, I'll show you what we've got. Right, these are Paul's. He's got quite a lot of coins today. Uh, that's a. Which one you say that was Paul? Edward the Third. Edward the Third, I think that one is. Uh, two old coins. Uh, exactly best find for Paul today is this silver cap and this uh, nice Lizzie uh, sixpence. So well done, Paul, for that. Right, for my finds, I don't have much really. Uh, I had that really nice button. A uh, few more buttons. Uh, I'll give that one a clean up, you can see on the back there, there's something there. Uh, one, uh, probably a uh, half penny or something. Uh, a bit of horse brass. And I think the best two finds for me today is this silver sixpence. I'll give it a good clean up. And I think, I think everyone will agree. I think everyone's jealous of me today. I do apologise, <laughs> but yeah, I've got a big grin on my face. <laughs> Is this absolutely lovely hammy? So yeah, that is absolutely gorgeous. I will go clean up. Find of the day, Jim. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I, I put a link. If you want to see what uh, Tom and Dave found on, the, uh, I put a link to their channel. Uh, go and have a look at theirs and see what they found. So from the set to Jim. And Detective Paul, we'll catch you on the, on the next, next one. one.